Good morning guys, we're in Gatwick Airport. We're gonna head to Seville. I'm gonna take you along with me. We're gonna talk a little bit about why I moved to Birmingham, reasons for that, but also show you some of Seville. Also a video sponsored by Monster. It's not really, but your boy can dream. Your boy can dream. Right, I was gonna get myself a coffee, right? Because why not? But firstly, I've already got my shot of caffeine by Monster, who don't sponsor this, but uh, I want to do past security because I don't know what it is. I hate, I feel like only psychopaths can chill before security. Like you got to do it afterwards, right? And I don't have a backpack. Sorry, I don't have a check-in luggage. I've only got a backpack. So I can just go, go straight through security. And then I think I'll get maybe some food, something to eat. Oh, I need to get rid of this actually because we are security and I can't have liquids over a hundred mil. I need to drink as much as I can. Looks after throw this away. Sorry, my friend. Nailed it. This is like the most tense part of traveling, getting everything in this tiny little bag. That's the only downside of having a backpack and no checking luggage. All your toiletries are tiny bag. Security done. Maybe let's get some food now and get ourselves on the plane, check out Seville. I've never been, don't know what to expect. I just fancy a little trip with the family, guys. I'm gonna do some like vloggy poos, but not too you much. The log. No, you hear that? That's my sister, you tagged the log. I did, I, I did tag on. But sometimes I wanna go just to have a few days off, you know? So I'm with the fam and we're in duty free. Someone's caught a smell and now we're gonna get duped into buying something, I think. Victory, guys. No one brought anything. One day I'm gonna do a video with my gripe with the cologne, perfume, blah, 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 industry. It's so expensive. So pricey. One day, not, not today. Not today. So we're in Gatwick. Just a few shots, guys. I don't know where we are, I'll be honest with you. Um, I think there's some shots up there. We've just walked in. It seems to be more like shopping rather than food. Oh, hello. Um, but we are gonna go and actually find some food, I think. So we've come upstairs, there's lots more seating. We've got curries, a restaurant, we've got a JD. Lots of shopping, but they do have little sort of foodie bits lying around. It's like 5 a.m. So we'll be looking really for breakfast food, get on the plane, go to Seville, and then I'll have lunch there and I'll show you what I get. Hopefully something tasty. I'm gonna give this a go. My sister brought this for me. It's like a cheese baguette with a, sun-dried tomatoes which i actually don't mind it's normal tomatoes i don't like and i think cress cress always has such a stringy look to it always looks like synthetic to me for some reason i don't know why mm? Staring you out, so she's just looking at me that's nice go from no i like the sheila one when it's nice pret a bonjour if i don't like it it would be pret a manga Pretty much yours, nice. We've got some crispy foods with it. We're gonna get on the plane and then um, have some Spanish food. Guys, right, yeah, we got through immigration, even though, yeah, You've done nothing wrong. You're just entering a country legally. Nothing wrong. You feel like a guy who's just come out of prison. Uh, it was a parole day, and it went okay, and they let me out. Okay. You feel like you've achieved something, but uh, yeah, let's head to um, our hotel. Also, worst part of the uh, journey or sort of process: collecting bags. But we don't have any. We've just got a backpack. Now we need to try and not get ripped off by a taxi driver. A taxi from the airport to the centre costs 30 euros, uh, which I think is okay. An Uber obviously costs a bit less, but I don't think they can operate in the airport, so it's pretty tricky navigating that. So we paid 30 euros between four of us, so I, th I think it's pretty good. We've landed in the old town, which by the way, is beautiful. You've got these lovely quaint little streets, which I cannot wait to explore. And we're gonna check into the hotel now. I'm tagging along, so I'm not prepared for this hotel. I'm just tagging along. So I think this is the uh, seating area, which this is lovely. I'm gonna get myself a coffee and edit down here. Dropped off the bags and now we're gonna find brunch. Guys, I just found an orange, right? Which is from the tree. Look at the size of it. It smells like so fresh as well. Like it smells lovely. Guys, look how narrow the roads are. 
I'm here. I'm gonna super narrow. Be careful. So the old city does have these really quaint, lovely little roads, which I like, but do be careful. And I promise I will talk about why I've moved to Birmingham, all my reasons for it uh, in a little bit, but we'll get some brunch first um, and just chill. And then we'll discuss that in a bit. I think I'll start with some scrambled eggs and some pancakes. I think like some of the nicest fresh orange juice ever. Like it's so nice. Guys, that is a mountain of eggs, peppers, onions, cheese. Delicious. And these pancakes, I think they're literally five euros for three. Some summer fruits on there. We've got strawberry and dark chocolate as well. Guys, we've got eight mains, so we've got six uh, normal mains and two like uh, big old desserts, only 73 euros. Seville has started off in a very economical, affordable way, which is important in this cost of living crisis. Let's see if that carries on. That was Billy's brunch, let's move on. Guys, we found a Captain Candy shop, let's check them out. So everything is uh, by weight. They've got uh, some halal stuff some uh, vegan stuff. So for example, look guys, you see uh, the halal sign. And they have vegan as well for the vegans out there. Look how cool these look. It takes me back to my tennis really days. Their vegan options are way more. Oh, really? There's a lot more vegan options. Do you like chocolate? Look at the size of these guys. That's right. 100% got ripped off in there. But that's part of the tourist experience, guys. Six euros for like, it was under 200 grams. I think it's 350 for 100 grams, which is mad expensive. Better off going to a shop and just buying sweets in packets from like supermarkets. Guys, I don't know what this is, right? But we're gonna get it. Burn energy drink. It's only one euro. Look at the water. 25p for that and 35p for a big one. Scratch what I just said. We're gonna try this, guys. 25 grams of protein, 75 grams of caffeine, or milligrams of caffeine. 195. We're gonna get a couple of these bad boys. Back in the hotel, so let's try this. It passed the k -k test. Okay, so the k -k test is long for fizzy drinks. That actually shouldn't have made that sound. 25 grams of protein, 75 milligrams of caffeine. That's fantastic. Actually, that tastes a lot better than I thought it would do. In my room now, uh, time for a quick nap, chill, and then let's discuss Birmingham. Uh, why I moved, uh, like what my reasons are, how I'm getting on, all that kind of stuff. Really cannot emphasize enough how careful you have to be on these uh, little tiny pathways, guys. Because one little like, and you'll be, you know, meeting your maker, and we don't want that now, do we? And I mean, if you do, then. then fast, my DMs are open, but uh, we've got, you must be careful. Apparently this place is bomb. It's supposed to be really good. <laughs> Guys, one of my favorite dips, this is Muhammad it's made with um, red pepper. Yeah, I we've got it. some, why not yeah, red pepper? Massive walnut. Uh, my sister's allergic to nuts, so we're gonna do that. Some bread and we've got some chips. Looking forward to this like big platter we've got, it's 45 euros, that's what we've ordered. And uh, it looks massive. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm hoping it's quite like kind of theatrical. Guys, so this is their kind of version of a biryani. That's what they've called it anyway. Big portion, looks really good. And then this is the, uh, the lamb skewers with the little quesadilla type looking thing, which looks great actually. Impressed with the food so far, the thing that they call a biryani is definitely not. It has the very, very, very different flavor profile. It's much more subtle, but I like it. I really like it's chicken rice, but I like it. And this is the thing for 45 euros. This looks great. That was a banging meal. Moving on now, but that was really good. Great Middle Eastern food. Lots of hustle and bustle in this area. I think we're in the centre. I'm going to do more sightseeing tomorrow. Today is the first day, super tired. Just want to eat, rest, chill, that kind of stuff. I think we're going in there tomorrow. It's massive.
found a little spot, a little shisha spot, and this is pretty much in town. Ignore them in. We really couldn't be bothered to travel, so needs must. Okay, it's completely empty. It would be nice to kind of sit here with some nice Arabic seating. It's literally completely empty. Check the whole place. Um, check the tail for some spending money on a holiday, but I'm not in there. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go. Okay, we're silly. That is not the entrance. The entrance, my friends, is here. That's why it was empty. Guys, proper like Arab style, you know, you sit down. This is cool, man. I'm liking this. Just so you know, guys, they do have lots of uh, baklava. You can see it here. This is what I'm going to take back to our little section. We're going to do a very quick taste test on this one because it looks like a spring roll. It's not a spring roll. No grape. Super dry. I'm going to leave that there. I don't want to be too harsh. Let's go back to the hotel room, guys. Heading back. The temperature has dropped. Our energy levels have dropped. So we're going to get back and uh, yeah, finally touch on why I've moved. Because a lot of people have asked in the comments across my platforms um, and I have addressed it in the comments, but I've never done it properly on here. So we'll talk about it properly now when we get back and I get comfortable. Hey, so I'm back. Um, I've got myself some water to hydrate and then we've got a big old packet of crisps and a Kit Kat as well. Um, if I was gonna troll everyone, I would get this Kit Kat and I would bite it like that. And it'd be bite marks across all four pieces, but I'm not in the mood to troll. So just to sort of summarize why I've left. So I moved from Manchester where I've spent 15 years and I moved to Birmingham. I had a lot of changes uh, in my life in the last sort of year or so. One of those changes was uh, put up the house that I was living in for sale. That got sold. So at that point, it kind of just sparked something in me. You know, I was like, I'm not tied to Manchester. I don't have to stay in Manchester, you know? My family aren't even there. And, you know, let's explore somewhere else. So moving really was a couple of reasons. Firstly, I want to explore the Midlands. I want to explore Birmingham, uh, Leicester, Nottingham, Derby, um, just places in that area, you know? But then it's like, I've also got a couple of projects which are big, you know? They're like massive projects, which I've not unveiled on here. But I need to be in Birmingham for those projects to oversee them. I'll unveil when I have something more concrete over the course of the next maybe six months. I will unveil because they're really big projects and I don't want to say what they are. Then they don't go well and then it's a bit embarrassing, you know, like it doesn't go well. But, you know, inshallah, they do go well. So, yeah, my reasons for moving were sold my house in Manchester, wanted to explore the Midlands and I've got projects that are underway in Birmingham. And I'm thinking, do you know what? Birmingham is a city that I really want to get to know a lot better as you can probably tell i am super tired i am so tired today so i'm going to end it here if you want to see more vlog content rather than reviews obviously i've got hundreds of reviews but if you want to see vlog content just click right up there guys there's a little vlog playlist for you check that out please make sure you like share comment subscribe subscribing really really helps me out on this channel but i'll see you all in that next video bye 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 b